Good morning and welcome to Purpose and Praise. We're good to be here with you this morning, praise God. Uh, so many things have happened just while we laid down and we slept last night, praise God. You know, God called some people home, praise God. And, uh, some of them were saved and no doubt some of them did not know the Lord and forgive us of sin. But God gives us all an opportunity, gives us all a chance to know him and the forgiveness of sin. See, the Bible declares that we have all sinned and came short of the glory of God. But while we were sinners, God sent Jesus to be the preparation, the preparation, propitiation for our sins. He, he, he sent Jesus in our stead, praise God. You know, he sent Jesus to anyone, praise God, hallelujah. It's a free will, glory to God, hallelujah. But I tell you, Christ makes the difference, praise God. If any man be in Christ, he is a, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away. All things have become new. Men, we need to take our rightful places in the home. We need to take our rightful places, praise God, and be a good provider. We need to take our rightful places, oh God, and be the priest of our home, glory to God. Spirit is real, God. I know, God, that you surround us, oh God, that you encamp around about your people, God. Father, I know, God, hallelujah, that your ears are open to our cry, God. Therefore, Lord, I seek, I seek a deeper understanding, a deeper knowledge, a deeper, a real, a genuine knowledge of you, God, a genuine understanding, God, a genuine, oh God, hallelujah, of, of a servanthood, God, a genuine, oh God, oh God, of a, a discipleship, God, of stewardship, God, Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, Lord, I know you're able, God, even at this time in my life, God, to open up my, my mind, and God, open up the, uh, the avenues of my heart, God, open up the avenues of every area in my mind, God, that, Lord, you can saturate it, God, hallelujah, God, Father, you can uh, 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 magnify it, God, that it, it be seen, God, your, your will and your glory, God, and, and what you want me to do, God, and where you want me to go, God, and who you want me to talk to, and what you want me to say, God, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, Lord, I'm in your hands, I'm in your hands, my life is in your hands. I'm determined within myself, God, to praise you. I'm determined, God, to, to live for you. I'm determined, oh God, that, that you would take full control of my life. Been ostracized, criticized, looked down, talked about, pushed aside, pushed aside, set on the burner, set back, God, pushed down, God. But Father God, I know, God, that you are God. And you can do anything but fail. In the name of Jesus. This is purpose for praise. And all that we say and do, it should bring glory to God. My name is Jimmy Bush. I'm a videographer. My wife's name is Sherry Bush. She's the CEO of Purple for Praise. Her number is 256-658-4516. My number is 256-658-5112. My email is jbbush0410 at gmail.com. That's jbbush. 0410 at gmail.com and the, the, my channel is, is called Purpose for Praise. I am in, um, initially a videographer. I have video, I have, uh, video services where and, um, if you need uh, videoing um, of your program or your church or any function that you want to be uh, filmed and captured for memories or for whatever reason, praise God, um, 
Uh, I do church programs, praise God, wedding showers, locally, any occasion, glory to God. And I reside, we reside in Huntsville, Alabama, 4110 Blue Spring Road, 35810 is the Melon Zill. Yes, this is Purpose for Praise. In all that we do, in all that we say, it should bring glory to God. That's what purposeful praise is. The purpose behind our praise, come on now, is that we bring glory to the Lord. In all that we say, in all that we do, let us bring glory to his name. Let us bring honor to the name of the Lord, praise God. In all that we say, in all that we do, praise God. Let's give him some glory. Let's give him some praise. I'm excited, praise God, what God has put in my hands to be a blessing, to be an encouragement. And I believe that's my purpose. That's part of my purpose, is to be an encouragement. I'm an encourager, praise God. I'm an edifier, praise God. I'm a builder, praise God. Hallelujah. I build up things and I don't tear them down, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise him. Ain't that wonderful, praise God? That God use, he can use his people to build you up and not tear you down. Hallelujah, praise God. To encourage you, praise God. To help you go a little bit further, praise God. Hallelujah. To bring out the best in you, glory to God. Hallelujah. Ain't that powerful? Oh, yes, that is. That's most powerful, praise God. When God can use us, praise God, to benefit others, praise God. You know, because this thing is bigger than me. Hallelujah, praise God. It's, all, it's, it's about the kingdom, praise God. The kingdom of God. Hallelujah. What extent will you go for the kingdom of God? What extent, what will you do in order to advance his kingdom, praise God? Oh yeah, praise God. Will, will, you, will, you, will, you, will you go a, 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 another step, praise God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Him. Praise Him. Glory to God. Uh, will you allow your finance to be involved in that next step? Glory to God. What about your time, your gifting, and your talent? Will you, will you let that be involved? Praise God. Hallelujah. To encourage, to edify, and to build up. See, we, we don't live in this world by ourselves, praise God. Some may act as though, hallelujah, they don't need anybody, praise God. But I thank God I'm not like that, praise God. I know, praise God, hallelujah, that I need your prayers. I know, hallelujah, that I need your encouragement, praise God. I need, praise God, hallelujah, your fellowship. I need your friendship. Hallelujah, praise God. Amen, praise him, praise him. You know, we, no, nobody is an island unto themselves, praise God. And we need to understand that, praise God, that we need each other, praise God. The Bible declares if one can chase a thousand, two can put ten thousand to flight. So what that means, you know, is, is power in numbers, praise God. There are power, there's power, praise God, when there's more than just you, glory to God. Hallelujah. So, I'm excited about what God has put in my hands. He put purpose for praise in my hands, praise God, to be a blessing. He, he trained me, he taught me, he showed me some things, and he's continually doing those things, praise God, that I might, that the Lord might allow purpose for praise, praise God, to, to go a little bit further, to go a little bit deeper, to go a little bit higher. Hallelujah. Into servitude. Good. Into stewardship. Hallelujah. God gives talents. He gives some. He gave one one. He gave one two. He gave one five. Hallelujah. <laughs> praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm not going to bury mine, praise God. I'm going to put it to use, praise God. Every chance I get, 
I'm going to use the talent and the gifting that God had given me. I know my talent, my gift, it may not be yours. It may not, it may not seem great to you. But in my eyesight, praise God, it's the greatest gift, praise God, that any man could ever want, praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> I stay excited about what God has put in my hands. I know you see the joy of the Lord in me, praise God. I know you see, praise God, that the peace of God is about my life, praise God. It's, it's no goodness of my own, praise God, it, but it's because I've engulfed myself in Him. Praise God. I've engulfed myself in, 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 in the service of the Lord, praise God, not the service of men, praise God. I do things, I do it not as unto men, praise God, but whatever I do, I do it as unto the Lord, praise God. So whatever he say do, that's what I wind up doing. Not necessarily what you say do, praise God, but because if what you say do contradict what God say do, guess what? Guess who I'm going to follow? I'm going with what God say do. Amen? Praise him, praise him, praise him. And that's what God wants us to be, praise God. We can walk together as long as we agree, praise God. But when we disagree, you know, I'm not going to dis I'm not going to agree to disagree, praise God. I'm going to walk with you. Hallelujah. As long as you, as long as you're walking with God and walking with his word, we can walk together. But when you deviate from his word, praise God, and yet want me to walk with you, Doc, I can't do it. You got to go by yourself then, Doc. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to let you know, praise God, how, what I feel and what I, what I think about it. Not just what I feel and what I think about, but what, what God's word said about it, praise God. Then if you refuse to accept that, praise God, I'm sorry, my God, I got to keep stepping. I got to keep walking, praise God. Because one day I'm going to have to give an account of how I live my life, praise God. And I, want, I don't want to be a stumbling block in nobody's life, praise God. So I'm sad to say so many people are stumbling over people's lives. They're professing to be saved, but they're living an ungodly life. They're professing to be saved, but they're doing any and everything that the world is doing. No, God called us out of that mess. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. All things have become new. If, 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 if Christ is in your life, praise God, hallelujah, then there should be a change, praise God. Don't tell me Christ is in your life and there's no change. There's no difference, praise God, that you're still doing the same thing that you was doing, praise God, before you got saved, glory to God. You're still hanging out, partying. You're still getting drunk. Hallelujah. You're still messing around with women. You're still doing everything that you want to do in the book and still declaring that you're saved. I'm here to tell you, you're not saved. You're living an ungodly life. You're going to have to stand before God and give an account one day. I'm telling you now, it's time for us to get it right, praise God. Either we serve God or we don't, praise God. Either we live for Him or we don't, praise God. Don't be in and out, praise God. Don't be up and down, praise God. Don't be lukewarm, glory to God. I don't know why I said it. Yeah, I'm not going to say it. I know because the Spirit of God gave me to say this, praise God. Because one day we are going to have to give an account. What the Word of God says, this is what the Word of God says. It is appointed unto man once to die, but after this the judgment. Now we know people die every day. So we know that that, that part of God's Word is true. So if one part of His Word is true, why not believe the second part of that scripture, praise God? It's appointed unto man wants to die. People are dying every day. But after death, the judgment. Every one of us is going to have to stand before God and give an account of how we lived our life. It's recorded, praise God. Our life is recorded, whether you believe that or not, praise God. The Bible declared that the books will be open. In the, in, 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 we're going to be judged by those things that are in the book, praise God. So, let's get it right, glory to God. Let's serve God with everything that is within us, praise God. Let's get it right. Let's, the Bible says, what, what the word of God says, if we confess our sin, God is faithful. And just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness, glory to God. He wasn't talking to the sin. He was talking to the believer, praise God, when, he, when that was said. If we confess our sin, God is faithful to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, glory to God.
Don't keep going on as if nothing is wrong, praise God. What are you doing then? You're, you're causing your mind to be seared like with a hot iron, praise God, where there be no feelings anymore. You continue to do the same thing over and over and over again. You continue to go back to God, ask God to forgive you, praise God. Then you, be, if you become cold, glory to God. God wants us to make a, make, a, make a choice, to make a decision, praise God, to serve him. I know that the enemy is going to come every time he, he comes and try to steal that word from your heart. When you hear the word of God, you believe it. Hallelujah. But then you hear the Lord's word and you believe it, praise God. But then when you believe it, you don't follow that word that you believe and begin to continue to study the word of God, to add more on to the word of God, to become strong and to go to church. You hear the word of God, praise God. Hide the word of God in your heart, praise God. Because if you don't, the enemy will come along and steal that word right from your heart, praise God. And you'll wind up back in the same situation that you was in before. So I'm just talking. I'm just talking. This is purpose for praise. And I'm just talking. That's all I'm doing. I'm just talking, praise God. Saying some things that's on my heart, praise God. Trying to figure out myself, where, where, where do I fit in in this picture, praise God. What is God trying to do? What is he trying to say to me? Praise God. What is he trying to, is he trying to use me? What is God trying to do? What is he saying, praise God, in this hour? What is he saying, praise God? If there ever was a time that we need to seek the Lord, it's today. Now is the time. The day is the day. Now is the day of salvation, glory to God. Not tomorrow. Tomorrow is a day that may never come. Bible tells us not to boast ourselves for tomorrow because we don't know what another day may bring, praise God. We don't know if we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna live or we're gonna die. We don't know if the rain is gonna rain, it's gonna sun gonna shine, it's gonna snow. We don't know any of that stuff. God wants us to make a confirmed decision to serve him, to live for him. And to know, it, 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 you already know in your, in your own mind and in your own self that the Bible is really true, that the Bible is really real. No matter how, off, how much you tell yourself that the Bible is not real, you know that it's real. It's something in you that's telling you, praise God, that this thing is real. But you keep turning the deaf ear. You keep tune, tuning out the presence and the power and the spirit of God. God is trying to reach you. He's trying to touch you. He's trying to touch your mind. He's trying to get you to change, make a difference. He's trying. But yet you keep tuning him out. You keep turning him off. You keep saying, God, you're not real. God, it's time, praise God, to seek the Lord while he may be found. It's time to call upon him while he's near. Father, in Jesus' name, God, I pray right now, God, in Jesus' name, Lord, that you help me, oh God, to convey this message, oh God, to the people, God, to convey the, 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 the urgency of the time that which we're living in, God. Young men, young women, little boys, little girls, old men, old women, God, we all, you know, it's, I'm telling you, we're leaving here, God. Father, in Jesus' name, help me, O oh God, not to be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, but to share the word of God, to share your love and kindness and tender mercy with many, all that I come in contact with, Lord. Lord, give, give a zeal, an urgency in my heart to share your word, an urgency in my heart, God, to put my arms around these people, put my arms around different ones, God, and let them know, God, that God let them know, God, that you love them, God. Lord, Father, in Jesus' name, God. Lord, let them know, God, hallelujah, that my heart and my spirit is real, God. That, Lord, I'm sincerely seeking and sincerely calling upon your name. Sincerely want to be a blessing and encouragement, God, in Jesus' name, Lord. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray, God, 
I pray your ability in my life, God, to convey your word, God. Lord, if not only just convey your word, God, well, what you what you what you what you are to me and what you've done in my life, God, and what you're yet doing in my life, Lord, to to to, to convey that where people will understand, God, well, well, well they'll, 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 they'll have a sense of, 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 of genuineness, oh God, that, that, that what I'm saying, God, I'm just not saying it, God, but it, it, it's from my heart, God, and it's, it's because that you put it in my spirit, you put it in my mouth, you put it in words in my mouth, God, to say, God, you put that in my heart, God, to, to be an encouragement, God, Lord, to, to lead someone to Christ, God, to, to, to call them to turn from their sin, God, to call them to Call upon your name, God, and to seek your face, God. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, it's, it's, it's in my heart, God. Lord, God, Lord, that you would use me, God, in this hour, in this time, God. And, Lord, to be a blessing, to be an encouragement, oh, God, in Jesus' name, Lord. Teach me, reveal to me, make it known to me, God. Show me what you want me to do, God, where you want me to go, what you want me to say, God, how you want me to say it, oh, God. Father, in Jesus' name, God, deal with me, oh, God, in the quiet times of the day, God, in the quiet times of the night, God, early in the morning, God. Speak to me, oh, God, by the way, God. Speak a word, oh, God, in my spirit, God. Speak a word, oh, God, in my ear, God. Let me hear what the Spirit, God, is saying to the church. Let me hear, God, what the Spirit of God is saying, Oh, God, to my family, God, what the Spirit of God is saying to my kids, my wife, God, what the Spirit of God is saying in this hour, God, to be a blessing, God. Let me hear your word, God. Let me hear your spirit, God. Speak, God, and my soul shall live, God. Speak, God, and my soul shall hear, God. Speak, God, oh, God, and I'll be able to do, God. Father, in Jesus' name, oh, God, in Jesus' name, Lord. Begin to move as you never moved in my life before. As you never moved before, God. Begin to use me, God. Begin to use my mind. Begin to use my heart. Begin to use, oh God, these hands of mine, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Call from one two five six two eight nine two one. Hello? 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 I don't hear nobody. Hello? Green. Okay.
I can't, I can't, I can't understand what you say now. Okay. I I just have interest in finding more out about it because I think I'm already covered up under my wife's insurance. I'm just not for sure. I was trying to find more out about it before I'm a, I had. She's not around where I can ask her, but um, I do want to have some more information about it, if that's possible. Okay, it's J B Bush. That's J B then Bush B U S H. 0410 at gmail.com Thank you. Hello? No, Richard Wright, I don't know anyone by that name. They, they may have used to have this number, but now this number belongs to someone else now. I'm sorry? No, this is my number here. This is not whoever you said. Richard somebody. My name is Jimmy Bush. This is... Okay. Okay, you too. Uh -huh. Bye bye. Gospel of John, according to St. John, chapter 1. Mm -hmm. The divinity, humanity, and office of Jesus Christ, the testimony of John, the calling of Andrew and Peter. Verse 1 from chapter 1. In the beginning was the word was with God, and the word was God. Very clear, the word of God says there is only one. And here the word is called God. Mm -hmm. Now we know that capital G always underscores the truth that it is referring to Jehovah God. That's right. Whereas lowercase g normally refers to the devil. And 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4, Satan is called the God of this world. But here, capital G is used, and capital W is used. So you cannot escape the fact that Jesus Christ, as the Word, is God. And I can remember a conversation I had some years ago 
on the streets in a town called Bury in the north of England. Mm -hmm. And I was doing some street ministry uh, with my father and another brother. And a Jehovah's Witness came along, a man and his wife. Mm -hmm. And I get the impression that they were both witnesses. Mm -hmm. And we got on to the deity of Christ, something which all Bible believers hold to. And I said to him that Jesus was God. That's right. And is God. That's right. And something which I still hold to Jesus to this day. Is God. It, Jesus was and God. And he said no, that he God. wasn't. And he went to 1 Corinthians chapter mm -hmm. 8. Mm hmm where Paul speaks about there be many gods and many laws, but to us is only one God. And mm -hmm. I tried to explain to this Jehovah's Witness mm -hmm. that to, to a non-Jew, and for today a non-Christian, there are many gods. That's right. If you're a Mormon, then you believe in many gods, which makes you a polytheist. But if you are a biblicist, if you're a Bible believer, you believe in one God. I believe in so one God. Just because he was able to cite 1 Corinthians 8, and he also went to the book of Acts, uh, did not mean that God, in his word, is saying there are other gods apart from him, but that there are minor gods, and of course the devil is referred to as a small god, always in a derogatory manner, of course. Mm -hmm. And we'll look at Psalm 82, when mm -hmm. we get there a little later on in the Gospel of John. But uh, here, I wanted to underscore the absolute paramount truth that the Word was in the beginning with God, and the That's Word right. was God. Right. And you just cannot get around that. And even in the Jehovah's Witness interlinear, it says that God was the Word. Not lowercase g, which you'll find in the New World Translation, so-called Biblical translation of the Word of God, but it says in the Bible that God was the Word. Verse 2, the same was in the beginning with God, I will say this also, that when it says the beginning from verse 1, it must be in reference to time, because time had a beginning, whereas God has no beginning. And if you go back to the book of Genesis, it says, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. Mm -hmm. So John quite clearly is using artistic liberty, which he is entitled to do through the Holy Spirit, who wrote both testaments, and he's using the creation of the world from Genesis 1 and pointing it to Christ. Christ was there before the foundation of the world, mm -hmm. which you'll find later mm -hmm. in this gospel. Mm -hmm. But here he's doing a very clear analogy. He's drawing a very clear analogy between the creation of the world and the beginning of time when the word already was. Three, all things were made by him, mm -hmm. and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Mm -hmm. And the light shineth in darkness, mm -hmm. and the darkness comprehended it not. Right. A couple of things I want to say there. Again, go back to Genesis. The Word of God says, Let there be light, and there was light. God spoke light into existence. And here, very clearly, the analogy has already been drawn, and you'll see more of that in verse 5, but also in verse 3 very clearly and unequivocal language says that everything was made by him. He's not only the firstborn, which I will show later to be in reference to his preeminence, mm -hmm. not his uh, chronological birth, uh, but he is the author and finisher of our faith mm -hmm. as well, according to the book of Hebrews. One other quick point on verse 5, where it says, The light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Until you are born again, you cannot perceive, you cannot comprehend, you cannot fathom the things of God. Paul says they are foolishness to you. Yeah, man. And of course, darkness cannot comprehend the light. Um, okay. Hence, How, the what they say about the kids? Has already been defeated. Six, there was a man sent from God whose name was John. Same they got the flu. For a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. The scripture says that God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. He takes no pleasure in the death of the wicked. 
uh, Paul told us in the book and, uh, of Ephesians that when a man gives himself to up to a reprobate mind, God, to to God to 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 according to and, uh, Romans and, uh, chapter 1, I mean, gives that it's person up. But here, mm-hmm. before man destroys himself, yeah, the scripture I'm says that he was sent to bear witness of that mm-hmm. light. And um, right. verse 9 yeah. says that was the true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. Every man without exception. Everybody who's been born to Adam has God's imprint stamped on him. That doesn't mean that you are automatically a child of God. You may be a physical descendant from Adam in your first birth, but that won't save you. You need to be born again into the family of God, and that comes to the second birth. So seven and nine, make it uh, crystal clear. I put Where's it? Chris, you got it. Chris, you got it down. You want all to believe in the light. Chris, you got it at the house. And light every man. Yeah, yeah. Also, you can quite clearly take from that. that everybody has a conscience. Everybody has the knowledge of good and evil. Because the light God has given what you say? to mankind remains well, until this day. Nothing. Ten, he was in the world, and the world was made by him. That's it, man. She need to get herself together, man. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. Two things, first of all, verse 10 makes it very clear that he is the author of all things. He wasn't a junior partner. He wasn't a little god. Uh, mm. He wasn't a glorified man, as some of the false religions teach, but he made all things. You and he came unto his own, and his own here are the Jews. Mm. And, uh, you know, if you're a Calvinist and you believe in the atonement, then you look at verse 11, and you scratch your head. Because later on it says he kept his own until the end. So what that means is that although he was rejected by those he came mm. for, that doesn't mean he didn't die for them. Verse 12, but as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born, not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. That is how you got saved. That is the source of the new birth. What you had to do, wait till they go to sleep and then put them in the bed. That's what you had to do, wait till they go to sleep. Made the appropriation to be saved. God made the provision. He provided it, but you had to appropriate it. So when it says that God is a saviour mm-hmm. of the world, which of course he is, that means everybody, especially right. to those that believe, those that have appropriated okay, the atonement, those that have received it. So he comes into it, he comes to his own, his own rejected. I ain't nobody, no, for that, no. Second Peter 2, 1 says, they deny the Lord, even though he bought them, but to as many as received him, to them gave he right to become the sons of God. So the atonement quite clearly has been provided for all people. All right, baby. told in 7 and 9 that he likes everybody that comes into the world. All right, baby. He might believe he came into his own, but his own is all right, not. Mm-hmm. It's very clear when you read the verses side by side and you cross-reference it with other scriptures. As Martin Luther said, scripture with scripture. Mm-hmm. And uh, this video... Is being made just after Reformation Day, October the 31st, a day which went down in history, and the world was never the same. And we give God the glory for that. Martin Luther may not have been a perfect man. In fact, he had many faults. He was very much a product of his generation. He was a Catholic through and through. And uh, unfortunately, he retained some of that bigotry, some of that hatred of the Jews, and some of his uh, attitude but nonetheless, the Lord was still able to use him, and he was still able to set the world free through his work. And that's why it's imperative to go to the scripture, to check everybody in light of scripture, to make sure that uh, he or she lines up with God's word. Um, but uh, not everything that Luther said and did was wrong. 
and I'm happy to quote him because he was quite right when he said scripture with scripture and that's the only way you can get the Bible down and uh, not fall into the trap of reading into the text what is not there again that's to uh, Jesus, but to read into the text or to read from the text I should say what is clearly defined which is exegesis 14 and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory the glory as of the only begotten of the father full of grace and truth John was an apostle John was an eyewitness Peter says in his epistle that he also was an eyewitness the writings of the New Testament were written by eyewitnesses either by the apostles themselves or their associates but here John says we beheld his glory all of the apostles but one were murdered for their faith in Christ these men would not have been murdered for their faith in Christ had he gone to the south of France with Mary Magdalene as some heretics still teach to this day and enjoy the good life quote unquote they would not have laid their lives down had that been the case but they had seen the crucified and the risen saviour and that transformed their lives completely 15 and John bear witness of him and cried saying this was he of whom I spake he that cometh after me is preferred before me for he was before me and of his fullness have we all received grace for grace the Lord was given by both but grace and by Jesus Christ in a nutshell I'm the preacher man I got my Bible in my hand Spread the word over the land Help my brothers when I can I'm the preacher man I got something for you If you would only listen I might learn a thing or two I don't wear a collar Around my neck, no It doesn't take all of that for me to win me your respect don't wear a black suit all of the time. I gotta get next to you, so I wear red, blue, green, and light. I'm a messenger, moving right in stride, yeah. The reason why I can't stop, I got a supernatural high. They call me the preacher man. The devil's blues. Put your hands together now and let us pray. Yeah. And if you got a problem, I guarantee it'll go away. I know 